Continuing on mysteries from around the world, you guys probably know the story of Mr. D.B. Cooper. The most infamous skyjacking that began in Portland, Oregon the afternoon of November 24th, 1971, when a middle-aged man paid cash for a ticket on a flight 305 bound for Seattle. He bought the ticket under the name Dan Cooper. The suspect was later named D.B. Cooper. Due to a reporter's error, once the flight was underway and about one-third of its capacity, Cooper politely ordered a bourbon and soda, and after receiving his drink, he handed a flight attendant a handwritten note. Cooper politely whispered to her, Miss, you'd better look at the note. I have a bomb. After showing her the bomb in a briefcase, Cooper gave her the request of $200,000 in negotiable American currency, along with four parachutes and a refueling truck on the runway in Seattle. The flight circled Puget Sound for about two hours to allow th authorities the time to organize the parachutes and the other demands. When the flight landed in Seattle later that evening, the 35 passengers, most of whom had no idea skyjacking actually transpired, disembarked, leaving some of the flight crew still on board. Cooper waited on the run runway for approximately two hours with the cabin shades down, uh, to ward off any potential snipers, the authorities delivered four civilian parachutes and $200,000, equivalent to about $1.3 million in today's money. In unmarked $20 bills, which the FBI had photographed the serial numbers to track them. The plane then took off from Mexico City with an anticipated refueling in Reno. However, when the plane landed in Reno, Cooper, two parachutes, and the money were not on the plane. Cooper had jumped from the plane like somewhere near Oregon-Washington border. Almost immediately, the FBI began one of the most intensive manhunts in modern history, occupying several hundred agents and spanning four and a half decades. Many believe Cooper died from the jump. It was in February of 1980, an 80-year-old, an 80-year-old, or an 8-year-old, sorry, I kept saying 80, an eight-year-old boy was camping near Vancouver, Washington, and found several packets of marked money. Scientific study shows the bills were likely buried at the site in the spring or summer, months after Cooper had jumped. This raises questions about Cooper's survival and where he's been all this time. Did he actually pull off the greatest heist in history, or did he die trying? 